Hey everybody, it's Chris, and tonight we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be we're going to be doing a disc comparison instead of a disc review. So we're going to look at overstable fairway drivers from each of the trilogy lineups. These are discs you're going to be able to name off the top of your head. We've got the Dynamic Discs Felon, the West Side Discs Audi, and Latitude 64's Pioneer. Now the reason I picked these three discs is because of the availability. Now I realize not all shelves are fully stocked, but these are the, th the most popular overstable drivers from these three brands. Um, I know I could include stuff like the Trident, which is out of production, the Triple X, which I believe is out of production or is harder to find, um, and there are some specialty discs that I discs I can include, like the Lucid Excavator. But these are the base premium plastic, Opto Lucid VIP, and I thought that was the fairest comparison. I could always add in the different plastic types, adding stability or taking away, going down to recycled biofusion, etc. But I figured. Plastic to plastic is the best way to do a comparison. So let's talk a little bit about the discs, uh, just how they're set up. If you go on the PDJ website and check out the specs of these discs, the Felon and the Audi are almost almost identical. The only difference on the, uh, on the specs is the height. The Felon is just a little bit taller than the Audi. In the hand, if you're holding both at the same time, you'll be able to feel just a tiny bit of difference on the shape of the wing, but really it's very, very similar. I'll try to do a side-by-side -side picture so you can see it too, uh, but very similar feel in the hand. The Pioneer is a touch different than the other two. It is a 1.9 centimeter wing as opposed to a two centimeter wing for the Audi and the Felon, so that is a slight difference. Again, in the hand, it's gonna be a very hard difference to feel. It might be something that's super comfortable. It might be something that just is not really relevant to how you're throwing. In the field. How is it going to go? Well, color is actually kind of a clue. It's kind of fun. Um, the Audi, not surprising to people who have thrown it, is going to be the most overstable. Pioneer is going to come in the middle with the Felon right on its heels. Now, when I say the Felon is the least stable of these three, that's not saying it's neutral or understable. In fact, even though I'm throwing around 390, 400 max distance with my drivers right now, um, I still wasn't really turning this out. You're going to see on a couple of throws, I'll flip it up, and if I was Turning it over intentionally, you'll see it flex. But on a full power throws, it was basically going straight before hooking up and fading. It's a very overstable disc that wants to get to the ground. You're going to be able to see that in the flight. So none of these is a neutral or understable disc by any means. When I say less overstable, it's just compared to very two other very overstable discs. That said, I do want to get to the video. I don't want to talk for too long. Um, what I do want to say is there's going to be quite a few comparisons. So. Take your time if you want, uh, ask questions, hit me up with feedback. I can talk about some of the other specialty discs and how they compare, but I really did want to just compare these three and get that out there. It's a pretty common question on the fan page. How do they compare? So I figured a quick video search um, was the way to go for it. So hope you enjoy. Again, put those questions and comments below so I can get back to you. Also put ideas for future comparisons. I'm not really reviewing too many discs right now. My hands are still a little bit messed up. But I'm trying to get back into tournament play. I'm trying to throw a little bit more. So hopefully this is going to be the start of that. Hope you have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye. Here I'll include the wing comparisons. You can see the felon on the left, the Audi on the right, just the difference in the wing shape and the, the slope. They feel very similar in the hand, but you can see the differences there. Here is the felon compared to the Pioneer. Again, very similar in the hand, but you can see the visual differences here, the structural differences of the disc. And here are the Audi and Pioneer. Um, actually, probably the most similar looking this close comparison. But let's go out to the course. First set of throws. Audi on top, Pioneer on the bottom. This is just a simple 70% throw, trying to mimic like 300 feet of power. You can see just how very overstable they are. Different lines, but very overstable flights. And this one we have the Felon on top, Pioneer on the bottom. Again, just 70%, just throwing it out there, letting it do its overstable thing. Both discs very overstable. You can see the wings tilting down hard to get to the ground. And here is the Felon and the Audi from that same comparison throw. Again, Audi, you can see, is the most overstable just by how fast the wing dips, how hard it's trying to get to the ground, how fast it gets to the ground, that less glide, more overstable function. Here's a big turnover shot. You're going to see these were definitely released on different lines. The Felon was relief, released way more left, um, but you can see the comparison of flight. Both of them turn hard, but they do fight out of it. The Pioneer was turned over even harder than the Felon on that one. And here, I actually tilted the Audi even harder than the Pioneer. This is the farthest I've ever thrown an Audi at 342 feet on U-Disc approximately. Um, it's just so overstable that I threw it almost vertical and it came out of it. Now, it 
wasn't super super overstable fighting immediately but that's considerably overstable disc here is just a aiming for 305 uh, both of these discs went between 300 and 310 feet um, you can see I had to tilt the Audi to get there whereas I throw the felon very flat I'm going to tilt the Pioneer here to get that flight as well not as hard as the Audi to get that extra flight um, whereas I'm throwing the felon just pretty not exactly flat but mostly flat to get that distance Pioneer is flexed a little bit going out to the field the baskets about 280 feet away from here um, you can see both discs, the Adi on the top, Pioneer on the left, very overstable. You can see the Adi dipping harder on the wing, uh, coming to the ground faster because of the overstability. Felon versus Adi, again, uh, the Adi was actually thrown more outside, but you can see the wing tilts faster, the disc is going to hit the ground sooner, and it's about 20 feet shorter as well. That's a function of that overstability, I just can't get it to go as far because it is so overstable. Here's a comparison, Felon and Pioneer. Pioneer was thrown a little bit more outside, but again, uh, you can see Pioneer maybe just a little more overstable than Felon, which is true in general. Here we have Audi versus Pioneer on almost identical lines. This is a great comparison of the flights. You can see the Pioneer is sweeping left, whereas the Audi is crashing. Just comparing where they hit on the ground, you can see the Audi wants to get vertically down faster, and that's a function of its overstability. These spike hyzers didn't work out very well, I apologize. Um, pretty similar comparison. Again, this is like a 250 foot target. Actually, I think it's even closer than that. So it's hard to get a, a, a huge difference in discs that are so overstable, even though there is some difference between them. So answering the overall question, what's the difference between the Audi, the Pioneer, and the Felon? As you can see here, the Audi is the most overstable of the bunch. This is a hard flex. The Pioneer is going to carry that turn and eventually fade back hard because it is overstable whereas the Audi self-corrects faster, gets down to the ground faster as well because of that overstability. Here's the Felon versus the Audi, again, very similar thing. You're seeing the Audi, the overstability of the wings start to dip harder, faster, get to the ground sooner. Uh, it's just a more overstable disc than either the Pioneer or the Felon. The Pioneer is also more overstable than the Felon. This is a closer matchup, but the Pioneer does, in the stock run, tend to be more overstable on the, uh, off the shelf than the, the Felon. Now, if we're going to talk about different plastics, I had a Meadow Flake Felon out here, right here, and you can see this is going to be considerably more, and not considerably, a step up in stability from my other Felon. Uh, so plastic type can play a lot of role, and Felon has so many different plastic types, including all the Lucid X, which do compare to the Audis, but it could be a, a workable disc for just about anybody. But overall, Audi, Pioneer, Felon, uh, stability-wise. Audi being the most overstable, Pioneer, then Felon. Uh, I hope that answers the question. I hope the flights helped, just the visualization. If you found this video helpful or informative, please feel free to like it, share it, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me down below so I can get back to you. Thanks.